Uh, hi there, my name is Dr. Mashut Ghazi. I'm a consultant in emergency medicine. You're watching my YouTube channel. If you like the videos on this channel, please kindly subscribe to this channel. <laughs> this video is for our medical colleagues who work in the emergency department, who work in the ambulance services, and for OSCE candidates who are trying to get through the MRK and FRK exa OSCE exams. Uh, the question which comes up is, uh, or in real life as well, when the paramedics brings in you a very sick patient who is very unwell, or they bring in a patient who is in cardiac arrest, so what questions do you need to ask from the paramedics, okay? So that's called the handover. So what is an effective handover? not just in real life when you're working in the recess emergency department and the, when paramedics arrive, but also when you are about to give your OSCE uh, exam for the MRKM and FRKM OSCEs. Uh, so I will give you six points that you need to ask when the paramedics brings the patient in. The first thing is, what is the age of the patient? And is there any past medical history? So that's the first question. You ask the paramedics, what is the age and what is the uh, past medical history? So if it was a cardiac arrest, you will ask them, was it a witness cardiac arrest? Second question, was it a witness cardiac arrest? Third question is, was there bystander CPR? Was there bystander CPR? And the fourth question is, what is the total downtime? Okay, what is the total downtime? The fifth question is, have any adrenaline been given IV? And the last one is, are there any shocks delivered? So six questions I'll give you in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the run through. So the paramedics arrive with the patient. I'm the re receiving doctor in the recess ED. So the first question I'm gonna ask, what is the, pa what is the age of the patient? Uh, what is the past medical history? Was it a witness cardiac arrest? Was the bystander CPR? What is the total downtime? What any adrenaline given? What any shocks delivered? So I think these are the six more most important points you can ask from paramedics when they bring in a cardiac arrest to you. Any further information you take is just going to add on time which you don't have because the handover needs to be very short. It needs to be it should give you the, all the important necessary information that you need to have. It should not delay you going up and s giving help to the patient or start treating the patient. So time is very important. A very short handover is important. So sa same thing goes for the paramedics. If you're bringing in a patient to the ED, these are the six most important questions you need to give. Because if you bring a patient in the cardiac arrest, the last thing you want is to give a very long handover and delay the medical team from going and starting treatment to the patient.